Anna Bellinghausen here with Stephen Ashworth. Getting to know the new Utah State transfer. Stephen, what's been your first impression of Omaha so far? Uh, I mean, I've loved it. The people have been super welcoming, really excited to be here. And uh, you can just tell that the city bleeds Creighton basketball. And that's what, you know, I wanted to be a part of a culture, a community that really cares. And that's exactly what Omaha is. And so it's been a lot of fun just getting to embrace that and understand that culture. Let's talk a little bit about your time at Utah State. What do you think you learned most throughout that duration? Uh, probably I'd say decision making. I think that as you come through college, you learn how guys are stronger, more athletic, quicker than you at times. And especially being a point guard, you have to be very cerebral. And so the development of that, I think, has taken leaps and bounds from my freshman year to now. And things are just coming a lot more naturally. The game's a lot slower. And so I think developing that side of my game has also helped my shooting ability because when things like that happen, it just slows it down and you're not thinking as much. And so that's probably the biggest adjustment that I've made over my career. Now you jump into a quick pace Creighton offense. How have you felt yourself fit in with this team and strategy? Yeah, I mean, I, I love to play fast. Even throughout my high school days, we, we were on a team that, you know, we'd score 90 points and a running clock with eight minute quarters. So we would play super fast and that's exactly what we want to do here. And playing with guys like Trey and Baylor, they can space the floor so well. It just opens everything up. And so transition or in the half court, we get to play with a lot of pace. And it's been super fun getting to understand just how good we actually can be when we play that way. And there was some adjustment, you know, because people say, you know, you play fast, but then you get here, it's, it's fast. And so it's been a lot of fun, though. Thinking about those adjustments and getting to know the veteran guys, how have you found ways to become a leader on this team and obviously still respecting those guys that have been here, done that here at Creighton? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it takes time to find your voice for sure. Uh, but, you know, leadership comes in many ways. I think that, you know, uh, this team has a lot of leaders in different ways. And so coming in, learning the fact that, you know, Baylor's, Calks, Trey's, their voices are going to go, even Bello, uh, their voices are going to go a little bit further than mine just because I'm learning it too. And so, you know, I try to be supportive to some of those new guys. And then I'm also learning as well, taking advice and uh, learning from their leadership of how to, um, how to continue to build the culture that they have here because, you know, in all honesty, they've gone to places I haven't been to yet. And so uh, that's why I came here is because I wanted to do that same thing. I heard you talking yesterday just about the depth of this team. How excited does that make you? Yeah, it's super exciting. I think when you have a roster full of, you know, 17 deep, uh, it changes things as opposed to, you know, there's always going to be times where you kind of get in a rhythm and you get your core group of guys. But to be able to have those guys as reserves that, you know, can step in and there's not going to be a drop off in, in caliber of play or IQ or skill level is something that's a luxury as a player. And, I, you know, I can't even imagine as a coach how nice it would be. But, um, you know, there's times out there on the court where, you know, you're looking forward to having some new guys come in and bring fresh legs. And with how fast we play, I'm certain that that's going to happen throughout the season where we're going to need some bursts of energy from different guys and uh, looking forward to seeing how that pans out with the depth that we have. In those first conversations with Coach Mack, what was it like getting you to be a Creighton Blue Jay? Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty smooth, if I'm being honest. It, there weren't a lot of bumps in the road. Um, a lot of trust went into it, a lot of communication. And, and Coach Mack told me what to expect. And basically everything that he told me I could expect is, is what it's been. And so, you know, the best part I think about Creighton is that you don't need to sell anything else of, of what it is. It's, it's not a sell to come here. It's just let them know what it's about. And... And, and people are going to want to come. And, you know, if they don't want to come, that, might, that must mean that they don't want to play this type of basketball or be a part of this type of culture, which is fine, too. You know, everybody has their choices. But for me, being a part of a complete team was something that was super important, and that's what Coach Mack told us it was going to be, and that's what it's been. Was it a cherry on top learning that Trey Alexander and Kalkbrenner would be coming back? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I in a way, made my decision knowing that, um, I guess not knowing, hoping that they were coming back just because, I'd watch them and you know I knew how fun it would be to play with them and how they would compliment me and how I think my floor spacing and decision making would compliment them. And so for them to come back, I think that they're in a great position to, you know, rise their draft stock for next year while also, you know, rising the expectations and goals that we have as a team. What are your goals and expectations for the season? I mean, our goal is to win a national championship and you know it's uh, it's fun to be a part of that. It's uh, not every day that you get to be a part of a team that can actually talk like that and, and expect to play in the Final Four and win a national championship, you know, play in the Big East championship games. Like, those are what, what we want to be. Those are the moments we want to be in. It's July, and we've got a lot of work to be in those places, especially with the defending champs in our own conference. And so 
knowing that it's going to be a battle every single day is something that we're thriving for and super excited about. But, you know, that's why we chase those goals. Steven, thanks so much for the time. Can't wait. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.